In this quick video, I will show you how to see the traffic source of each individual page, not necessarily a landing page. Here I am in the official Google Analytics for demo property. Let's go to reports, and then I'm looking for some report related to pages. In this context, I don't care if the page was the first page of the session or if it was, let's say, the fifth page. I just want to see all pages that were part of the session at any moment. Therefore, I will be looking for pages and screens report. Just keep in mind that the sidebar of Google Analytics is highly customizable. So in your case, you might see something completely different, but nevertheless, you should still keep looking for something related to pages. So here's the report. And let's say that I want to take a look at the traffic sources of this particular page right here. So first, what I will need to do is I can add a secondary dimension, which is session source medium. If you want, you can choose something else such as session default channel group or session campaign, whatever you want. But in this case, it's important that you select session dimension, not let's say first user source medium. And then as I've said, I want to take a look at this pages data so I can just copy it and then paste it in the search bar and click enter. And now I see the top session traffic sources when the visitors visited this particular page. Now let me show you one potential challenge that you might have and a solution to that. So let me clear this search and let's say that I want to focus on this particular page. So I copy this and then enter. Now the problem here is that many pages contain the same part right here and the search feature in this table does not allow me to look for exact matches. It will always look for partial matches. So if I want to focus focus specifically on this URL and I don't care about this or this, then the search feature is not what you need. Instead, you could create a quick filter. So let's remove this search field and then at the top of the report, click add filter and then page path exactly matches and then this value right here. So now we will be looking for exact matches. I can click apply and now I see only that page and I don't care about anything else. Let's say slash men slash women or whatever. And that's how you can see the traffic source of a specific page in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.